so we're leaving the confines of the river and heading into Grosvenor Park which means a lot to me from my childhood days because I used to come here with my mother on certain days and enjoy the amenities and even with other members of my family if we had guests visiting and it was a lovely spot yeah and what is. about you Lisa yeah I love it actually if we just go down here Rick, I mean it's quite a large park yeah and it's got a lovely history to it. It's always been a park for decades, well, more than decades, hundreds of years. But it's rather a nice little walk down. Years ago, I don't know if you remember this route, but there used to be a sensory garden, which sadly is no longer here. Yes, I vaguely remember it, but I wasn't sure what that was about because I was too young to understand it. Yes, it was somewhere over there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That it was. And then there was a lake as well with ducks on. Sadly, yeah. that's not there anymore, but there is a very good adventure playground, which of course many people like. But we're coming into like the oldest part of the park here. So wow, look at those ruins. Yeah. Yes very unique features. This is the beauty of Chester, it's retained much of its historical artefacts. Yeah, I think it would be nice to go up if we've got time to the amphitheatre yeah. because there's been an age-old debate about what to do with the amphitheatre here in Chester because we've got probably one of the most impressive amphitheatres. It's very, very large because Diva was the capital of the Romans. Roman in, in Britannia, wasn't it? Yes. So our amphitheatre is much bigger than, well, anything other than Rome, I believe. And half um, of it's under another building exactly and they don't want to demolish that other building do they so. the building is beautiful so i think pretty much half of the population thinks we should be restoring this beautiful building which does need restoring now and the other half thinks that we should excavate and see if we can complete the amphitheater what do you think personally i don't know i mean i remember years ago a friend of mine did his dissertation on it and they were going to create almost like what York has for Vikings. And I think, you know, if we were going to do that, it may well be worth it. But my mum went to the convent, which is the building that sits on the other half. So I'm unsure. <laughs> And we're now outside St John's Church, the old ruin one mentioned earlier, which is just outside Grosvenor Park. And unfortunately, there's a bit of construction going on. But Lisa knows quite a bit about this place, don't you? This is the original cathedral. So before we had the very grand and large cathedral that's in St Werburgh Street. So it's actually got an amazing history to it. And you're telling me something about a coffin in the wall, yeah, which unfortunately we can't we see. We can't really see it, but it's just up in that wall and there's a lot of ghost tours in Chester and they say that this church is haunted. Like most other old places. And look at the top there, the clock still works. Is that telling the right time? Yeah, it is. You never get me out this early, do you? <laughs> no, 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 never. <laughs> Wake up! And we're now going to check out the amphitheatre which is literally round the corner. So we are now at Chester's famous amphitheatre. Yeah, it's been marked out as the archaeological society have realised that how it would be set out. But you can see that it's only half exposed. Someone has painted in what it would look like the other half, but in actual fact it's underneath. Shall we go down and have a closer look at that? Yeah. Artwork? It is still interesting to see how history unfolded here maybe 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. And when I was a child, you weren't able to set foot inside here. But they've done it recently, I think, in the last 10 years, is it? Or even earlier, that you could actually walk inside here. I think it's a bit more. 20 years. Oh. So they waited for me to leave and then do it. <laughs> Some steps going yeah, down maybe there. that's it. So it's easily accessible to most people. Now, look at that, people. This impressive artwork. Artist's impression of how the full amphitheatre should be depicted as. Yeah, and of course, in the summer days, we have gladiators that walk the city and take classes of children around and talk about the Roman heritage that we're so lucky to have here in Chester. I think there's one up there now. Yeah, we have a Roman on top, a tour guide. I'm just walking around the amphitheatre. Interesting to see the altar to Nemesis. 
Is it a tomb, do you think, or something? Or Oh, it would have been praying to one of their deities, perhaps? Yeah. some more information about the Roman amphitheatre. So the construction of the amphitheatres or double theatres began in southern Italy and followed the spread of Roman rule. Chester's amphitheatre is the biggest known in Britain and it could seat around 7,000 spectators and would have been a powerful symbol of Roman supremacy on the edge of the empire. So I'll let you read the rest of it in your own time. So just hit pause. And here's some more of the artwork you can see further up above it. And there you see it extending all the way down into the pit itself. Just imagine gladiators and lions all fighting against each other. And there's a Roman tour guide. I think he's finished up for this shift photo session for him now. <laughs> so thank you so much Lisa for showing me around your childhood spots and letting me know about Chester which I wasn't aware of because living in a city you're not fully aware of what goes on around you and you take things for granted but oh, you do. You it do. has been a mini adventure for me. It's been lovely for me too because I've not seen you for many many years Ruth. Indeed. So thank oh, you. Let's Lisa. not make it so long next okay. time. But it's, it's been over two years since I was last in Chester because of the pandemic. Oh I know it's been strange strange yeah. times. Anyway don't forget to like and subscribe. So I'll see you again on the next vlog there'll be a few more vlogs of Chester coming up. So until the next time take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.